Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Cosmic OS for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Cosmic OS. Now, this is not a very frequent ROM, uh, I would say that much. I have not heard of this previously, but it was available in XDA and I want to try this out and uh, it is a very, very good ROM. Now, first of all, this is based on CAF sources, which is 7.1.1 and it does have a lot of stuff which is there to like. So let's get started on the ROM. Then. So in the settings menu, let's go to about phone page. In the about phone page, you can see it is cosmic, so it does have a, a little... Uh, picture there about for cosmic os you have the developers and you have about the cosmic os this does have full subscription support so that is one thing it is based on a usb with cap sources so that is another thing which is going to uh, excite a lot of people and it does give you a good battery life and a good performance so yeah that is there all of these devices are supported kenzo meiko moto g3 uh, all of these are supported and that's pretty cool and he is the maintainer for oneplus 3 and it has been working pretty well for me at least so yeah now it does have an updater but uh, this is the 1.2 official that is the really latest one you can check for update but i personally do not have any updates right now so yeah that's just there model is still unknown so that is something which i would have liked to have uh, fixed but i normally use google assistant and it just changes it to pixel excel so i don't really mind that the security patches are still december not the january one which we saw in the previous to previous rom so that is there uh, bill number and all that is available and you can customize that so in the rest of the settings uh, this is going to be an aosp rom so that should tell you how it is going to be and with a lot of cm settings uh, ported over so let's get to the extra stuff now first of all in the cosmic os tweaks you have galaxy where you have most of the extra stuff in the lock screen settings you do have a uh, stuff like uh, lock screen shortcuts uh, items um, double tap to sleep anywhere lock screen torch cover art uh, all of that is available and lost screen charge info is also available which is pretty cool lost screen pin repo you can customize these that's pretty cool notification drawer that is this one you do have quick pull down and smart pull down so that is pretty nice by the slider icon all of these can be enabled and disabled and also you have one thing which i really appreciate which is center date and time which uh, changes the date and time to center of the device which is this one you might need a restart for that but it changes this one to the center and you can disable the edit icon you can disable the setting shortcut and multi-user shortcut and yeah as you can see this is center and you don't have any of that that, that does give you a very clean look for the most part so i really really do like that it's pretty cool in the status bar option you do have battery styles you can customize that you do also have carrier label settings where you can customize how the carrier label is displayed clock settings is available where you have a uh, center right and left clock that's also pretty amazing am pm indicator date indicator all that is available also networks in network traffic indicator is one of my favorite features because i like to have network traffic indicated on my status bar so yeah that's just there double tap to sleep uh, brightness control is available and double tap to sleep is something which i've been using on this rom quite often because yeah this one does not have hardware button controls which i'll get into later and it doesn't have a hardware button control so double tapping the home button doesn't just opens up overview which is not something which i want the battery bar stop settings you can enable the battery bar i can say the battery bar is enabled and you have all of these settings there which is pretty cool and it does have a lot of stuff to which you can do here and the button settings you do have navigation bar you have navigation bar in smart bar and fling settings so that is something there which you can customize power button settings are available where you have animations and all of these can be customized whatever you want uh, search voice search all of that can be customized and it's really amazing uh, hardware keys now hardware keys now this one does have a lot of options for volume keys and the uh, power button all that but it does not have a hardware key customization option so that means you don't have access to changing the hardware buttons so uh, double tapping to uh, turn off the screen which i normally use on all of my roms yeah that's just not happening in this rom so that's just uh, something which i really have found to be lacking in the system options you do have a uh, display options where you have uh, expanded desktop wake on plug and also notification lights so there's no customization for battery lights or all that but uh, it is still there the media and notification controls you do have double tap on the power button for camera which is amazing uh, camera shutter sound can be disabled power notification controls are available which you can customize and that is pretty cool for changing the uh, hd uh, icon on the 
uh, status bar so that's there flash light notification all that is available in the miscellaneous option you can enable the scrolling ca uh, scrolling cache can be customized to any of these uh, toast icon can be customized screenshot delay can be set now as i've said this does have substratum and it does have the full on uh, oms support so you don't have to restart stuff and it does work out really nicely i do uh, like the substratum theme quite a bit more uh, than what I used to previously like in Substratum because uh, Substratum has actually come a long way uh, from being the initial version it was so yeah I really do like that but I still prefer CM uh, theme engine because it's much more easier and the display option you do have all the essentials but something which I really found uh, lacking is the lack of ambient display uh, settings it doesn't have an ambient display it does not work and if you search for ambient display it will show it up but there's no ambient display so that's just not going to work you might have to use a third party application for that apart from that almost everything is basically what you'd expect the battery life now i've been using this for about a day and uh, my battery life is similar to what you'd expect out of any other cm based rom or lion genoa based rom or any asp based rom which is on calf so battery life you can get through uh, mostly a day but uh, at the end of the day today, I didn't have too much music playing on and uh, at the end of the day, I got about 30-35% which is okay, it is okay but uh, with music playing on, it was normally at 23%. I think that's going to be uh, the performance of this ROM also, so nothing special there. And the developer option, you do have Stay Awake, OEM Unlock, all of this available. SRGB does not work, so yeah, you have to live with that. Nothing special here but uh, it does have, now I really like this one which is uh, the animation speeds control now it is set to 0.75 and it's a slider rather than just selection so you can customize it any way you want and that is amazing i really do appreciate that and you do have granular control of that i really do like that and uh, it's something which i really appreciate now at 2 to benchmark score is something which you would be seen uh always i mean it's about 150,000. nothing special about it yeah as you can see 154,000, which is normal for a calf based rom so nothing special there and i really do like that so let me show you guys a boot animation which is pretty cool so here is the boot animation for Cosmic OS and uh, it is really smooth. I'm not sure if you're seeing it in 60 FPS, but it is freaking smooth and I really do like how it is turning out to be. So that's pretty cool. Cosmic OS. Now, there are things which I noticed about this ROM, uh, so like the LS slider does not work. That is a thing which I do really not like. Uh, echo problem, I mean the call volume issue is still there. Uh, camera, now something which I want to talk about is a camera in here. It does use the Snapdragon camera than the uh, uh, CM camera. So you are going to get a bit different uh, interface and all that. Personally, there's nothing special here. I mean, it does work out. Yeah, as you can see, it just crash right now it does happen sometimes and uh, that's just the way it is uh, you cannot uh, expect it to work 100% of the time as in any other AUSP or CM based ROM so I just consider that as a normal thing so yeah that's there so yeah I guess how much is it about the ROM then uh, in conclusion this is a stock AUSP based ROM uh, with a little bit more settings than an AUSP which is taken from Lineage and CM based ROM so yeah, that should do it about the ROM then. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.